Hey there, Jules. What a great book. Every single page is a wonderful look. I am so glad to be a part of a wonderful work of art that I hope you sell a freaking thousand books. Hi there. My hero, Big Sid Catlett on 52nd Street, where he used to let me sit in once in a while. And his advice was, how's your reading coming along? I said, pretty good. He said, I want you to become a very good reader. And here's why. If you can read well and play a show well, like me, when those jazz jobs don't come pouring in, I go up and work at the Cotton Club for a couple of weeks playing the show. He said, that's what you can do. You can go and work, play shows somewhere. And he said, believe me, it helps to fill in the holes when the jazz work isn't so plentiful. Well, this was the best advice because I not only believed him, but I worked extra hard because of his advice. I became a good reader. I could play a good show by the time I was 18. And I could travel with a band. And I mean, I wasn't the, certainly the best drummer by then, but I played okay. But I could play a good show, and that made the leader like you if you played a good show. And look at what I ended up doing playing over 5,000 Tonight Shows. So in a way, Sydney's advice came true. Okay. I think today is a far more difficult situation because there's so much competition. I always think that uh, talent will rise to the top. I think when I was coming up, if you played quite well, you'd work. Right. I'm not talking about play the best, maybe. I mean, the, you know, the very top. But if you played quite well, you're a good professional drummer, you would work. you support your family, you really would. But I do think for all the great, let's say 90% of the people that aren't the 10% very best and are good players and they're good solid professional players, what I find is helpful from my students, I have learned this, is try to have a little side action in something like engineering or maybe teching for other people or starting a tech service like one of my students did for instrument teching and transportation. And it seems that when you have a little something else going other than playing, sort of like what Sid said about shows, when the phone's not ringing for those gigs, you have a little something else you can work at. I have two students that are good engineers and they definitely help to pay their bills and they're very good drummers in between jobs by doing a studio engineering. So that's the advice I give today. It's a different advice than you might have given many, many years ago.